it's been many, many years where been a lot of finger pointing, you know, where United States would say, well, China's not going to do it. We're, we're not going to do it. And, and the same thing through all other com- countries around the world. And uh, what's really changed um, over the last, say, two years, I guess, uh, particularly in Canada and some other places in the world is that it's become a little bit of a, a perfect storm. And, and we talk about the carrot and stick. Uh, there's there's been lots in Canada, particularly, and I'm kind of, kind of proud of our country in this regard, in that they've kind of addressed the whole issue and said, okay, let's figure out the carrots and the sticks. The carrots being is that they're actually providing direct subsidies, uh, if that's cash subsidies for, for if you actually build a CO2 capture plant, and you can pl- apply for up to 50% of the cost. Uh, there's also things like tax credits as well, like the 45Q in the United States. But in addition to that, there's the, uh, the there's the carrots or the 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 the, uh, the negatives, which is the sticks uh, that we have actually a carbon tax in Canada, which is currently around uh, fifty dollars a ton, which will be increasing to one hundred and thirty dollars a ton uh, by twenty thirty. So you've got both sides. Now, in addition to that, there's other things. Um, there's carbon credits that are starting to happen now, which will give you another source of income. Uh, there was mentioned that there's a shortage of CO2, so potentially the CO2 can be sold for other commercial uses. And uh, we were lucky to be part of a, a project uh, in Canada that was card- called the Carbon X Prize in Calgary, Alberta. And, and it was a competition where $10 million was offered to uh, to a number of, there was about 140 applicants that came in and they all applied to to look at ways that they could use CO2 for their own purposes. And so out of those 140 applicants, they selected five and they built some demonstration plants. But they looked at things like, can we use CO2 for carbon nanotubes? Can we use it for putting into concrete? Can we use it for uh, making ethanol and methanol? And, and lots of different new uses of CO2. And so the more you can commercialize the CO2 and you can you can make it a commodity that has value other than other than the standard ones, which is food grade CO2 and, and um, you know, EOR, for example, uh, the more the companies have alternatives to put you in the black, uh, like that was mentioned earlier by Jeff. So and one more thing. So in addition to that, though, there's been also a, a trend uh, in the in the capital markets that the fact that. You know, if you want to be able to raise capital, if you're an oil company, for example, and you want to raise capital, you you have to have an ESG plan. So having a capture program would be an ESG plan. And if, and if you don't have one, uh, then, then you might not get the money. So when you combine all of these things, it's really been uh, really a, a super growth. I've probably seen more applications for new CO2 capture plants in Canada in the last year than I saw in the previous 19 years. So really good market for us in this last little while. Fantastic, thanks. And, and perhaps we can bring that back to, to Jeff and, and to an extent, Jim. From what you've heard there, how does that differ to the, the situation in the US? How do the incentives differ? Um, and perhaps also that final point there, You know, how have you seen this change? Is it really moving forward? Yeah, so I'll start there and then Jim, please jump in. Um, yeah, you know, I, I think it's very, very similar with the exception of the carbon taxes. And that's just something that we have never had an appetite for here that uh, I'm aware of. I'm sure they've been presented quite often, but uh, it, we never quite get there and, and get to the full on carbon tax. But the thing that, that uh, I'm most excited about is is uh, one of the, the, the points that Jeff just made about you know the other uses for commercializing. That's a great way of putting it, commercializing CO2. Uh, and that's, that's where we talk about finding the alternative uses. And I think what everything that is going on is really generating uh, a drive towards that. So these, these regulations are the IRA and 45Q, like I say, sequestration, it's important and it's needed, but that can't be the long-term solution. Otherwise, we're just gonna keep generating more CO2 to capture it, to store it. So it's a it's a bridge for a and it's a necessary bridge for a long time, I'm sure. But at the same time, uh, incentivizing commercialization of the CO2 is really what a lot of these regulations are doing. So, uh, you know, you talked about you know methane and eth- uh, 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 ethanol and things of that nature. You know, if you biogas is probably one of the most important things, in my opinion, renewable natural gas. You know, when you have a landfill or farm waste or wastewater uh, ponds 
they're generating that methane uh, in their waste. It's going to the environment, whether we want it to or not. Capturing that, generating, capturing the the, uh, the the methane off of that, and also capturing the CO2 that's generated and using that CO2 to make e-fuels, sustainable aviation fuel, things like that. That's the future. Rather than taking natural gas out of out of our geological wells uh, underground that have been there for millions of years, rather than taking more out, we're already generating. Let's capture it and use it. So the incentivization of those fuels and of those new applications, cement curing and everything else that we're doing, that's really that's the most important long term solution. And the, and so yeah, I think uh, to, to answer your question. Where are the parallels and where are the differentiations? It's it's in that I, we don't we don't in the U.S. at least currently have much of a tax burden plan, but it, the, these things are absolutely long term generating new sources, new resources for utilization of those CO2 and, and new innovations, which is the most important. So that's where I'd like to see our money ultimately going is investing in innovation of new uses.